Hey now fam, thank you so much for tuning in to Charlotte's Pain Point of the Day. Um, I was just having this discussion with some folks, you know, um, earlier today about the pain point of the day is, should I hire a virtual assistant? And let me tell you, I've had my <laughs> horror stories with virtual assistants, but I also have a really wonderful virtual assistant now. So, I mean, it can work out. But let me say this about hiring virtual assistants. And this is, I'm going to say this from my heart of hearts. Number one, before you hire a virtual assistant, you need to be specific about what it is you want them to do. And I'm going to say this, and I know a lot of you are not going to even listen to me. However, you need to know how to do what it is you're hiring them to do. So if they're going to be doing your social media engagement, you should have some idea about how that's going to work or what it is you want to be done and how much time it takes. Because I'm going to tell you something right now, I see a lot of people really getting kind of, oh, I hate to say this, but getting ripped off by virtual assistants that are like charging them a whole bunch of money to do like one or two, three different things. I'm like, I could have done that in 15 minutes. So I didn't need to hire you <laughs> to do that. So you, you, you got to kind of at least be aware of what it is you want done. You also need to be aware of, um, how much time it's going to take. And so that you can figure out a fair plan, a good virtual assistant will provide you with a quote and they will tell you specifically what it is they're doing and how much time it's going to take. And I would say also give them the flexibility, particularly if they're doing um, work that requires research, some time to do the research. I mean, yeah, it may not take them that long to do the research, but they have every right to charge you a little bit of money to do research because research takes a little bit of time. I mean, not a whole bunch, but a little bit. So my thing is, and also I will say this, if hiring a virtual assistant is going to reduce the amount of agony, <laughs> for the lack of a better word. If it really is going to help you be more productive, hire a virtual assistant. And then also tweak your virtual assistant contract over time. So maybe the first three months they'll do X, Y, and Z. But then over the next three months they'll do something else or you'll tweak how they do that. You know what I mean? And, and you're going to want to make sure you do that anyways because after a while your virtual assistant gets to know you and they know exactly what you want and they know exactly what you need. And so they can do a lot of times they can do it in less time. And a good virtual assistant will come to you. Like my virtual assistant will say, look, it's not taking me as long to do X, Y, and Z for you anymore. So are there other tasks that you want me to do during this other time that you're paying me for? And I was like, well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Yes, definitely think about her in a virtual assistant. I think it's worth it if you get a good match, but make sure you do the necessary work to ensure that match works and is effective and productive for your business. So that's my pain point of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, wishing you nothing but peace, prosperity, and a whole bunch of love. And I will see y'all next time. Take care now. Peace out. <laughs>